Well, blessings, and uh, it's a pleasure to be sharing this message. I had so many choices of what I could share today because the Lord's been downloading, downloading so much during prayer time the last few months and particularly with regard to our conference in Canberra. Um, so that conference is called the Church and Cultural Challenges and that's on the 27th to the 29th of July, live stream church in Canberra and so the Lord's been downloading so much but I said to Norman oh, I just need to focus on one little part of it today to share with you and I've titled the message message man pleases and God pleases or people pleases and God pleases because I think that's quite central to what is happening within our nation. When we look at the cultural challenges uh, to the church in our nation of Australia today, the Lord's been increasingly putting on my heart that we need to look at the challenges within the church itself. Because in a sense, the church is mirroring um, the division or conflict or tensions in our society with regarding to the culture that we're living in. So as well as having left wing and right wing in the church or progressives and conservatives or traditionalists and, and modernists um, or some people call them fundamentalists, um, I'm going to be liberals and others. I'm going to be looking at those at another time. But I just want to flag that the divisions we see in society, we've got them in the church as well. An interesting mum said to me as we were leaving the prayer room just before the service that that scripture about a house divided itself can't stand has been on her uh, heart lately so um, in a sense uh, that is part of the message today so what the Lord wants us to do is to reverence him and obey his commands rather than having a fear of man or a fear of people and um, obeying what the world is telling us to do. And so, how many, this is a very challenging message, I think. So, how many pastors or priests preach safe messages that aren't going to lose them, their congregation, or aren't going to cause them controversy? How many church leaders don't want to be unpopular or out of sync with the world around them? That's a real challenge, I believe. How many in the church don't want to be cancelled? You've heard all this talk about cancel culture that we're in. Or don't want to be labelled politically incorrect or divisive or lacking in compassion. How many in the church keep their opinions to themselves? Frightened to share it, either in person or in social media, in case they are labelled bigoted, racist, sexist, transphobic, homophobic, or even harmful. Does espousing biblical values cause someone who doesn't even believe in biblical values to commit suicide? This is one of the charges against the church. Is the church causing offence to the vulnerable by adhering to the age-old standards of our Judeo-Christian heritage? important questions I believe and quite challenging to us 
as the body of Christ or Yeshua.